Good morning, everyone. I think it's uh, 10 minutes before 10, so we are almost in time, um, which I honestly didn't expect after yesterday evening. Uh, I think quite a number of us had quite a number of coach um, in my favorite bar. It's my favorite bar because uh, my name is David, I'm from Cologne, so I'll kind of be your host during the next couple of days. Um, before we jump into my actual keynote and all the organizational stuff, um, we have one thing that we would like to introduce to Jeb this year. Um, we uh, have an audience interaction tool. Um, maybe Johannes, can you switch over? Um, it's called Slido. Um, uh, Elisa stumbled upon it on a different conference. Basic idea is that I, as a speaker, or whoever is in front here, can get in touch with you guys a bit better. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, get your digital device of your choice, laptop, smartphone, tablet, uh, Apple II, whatever works for you. Um, go to slido.com, and uh, then you'll be queried to enter an event hashtag. That's rather straightforward. Um, if anyone needs the Wi-Fi password, it's uh, Joomla rocks, lowercase, no spaces, no bang, no nothing. Just Joomla rocks as it is. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. Um, with Slido, we have uh, two main features that we're going to use throughout the conference. Um, one is the, the feature that you already understood, I guess, um, which is the question feature. Um, <laughs> um, if you have any questions throughout the session, um, just write it down there. Um, and uh, we'll go through the questions once the session is over. I think that makes good sense in keynotes and also makes good sense if, if you don't feel that confident to ask your question in public, stuff like that. Just enter it in there and it's going to work. And uh, the other tool that we're going to use in a once in a while is the poll tool. Um, I prepared a total of three polls. Maybe you can hit the first one. Um, the obvious question. <laughs> that's, that's kind of how I expected it. Okay, so you got that one right, and now two more, more serious questions. That's an interesting one. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. Yeah, no, nobody who hasn't been to who hasn't been who hasn't been to a jet before. New faces. Gee, welcome, guys. I'm happy you're here. And I think there's one more, if I remember correctly. Forget about that. Which is it? Oh, yeah. Um, and in, well, maybe input the country so we can get an idea. <laughs> I really like my mother and father. Okay, so it's, it's quite, quite a surprise. An event happening in Germany has some Germans involved. Um, Mordo is also nice. <laughs> okay. Well, I think you, you got an idea. Um, in the main room, I think we'll, uh, we'll also utilize the, the, the poll feature and uh, another feature that's called ideas. Um, in the smaller rooms, it's mainly about the questions. But this is Slido. Um, in your interface, you should also be able to select which room you're in currently. Um, that's an interesting detail um, because otherwise the questions won't match the topic that you're talking about. Okay, um, but now let's do the serious stuff, which is my keynote. Attach noch immer Jojo Young. I'll be speaking uh, quite a lot 
Germanish stuff this morning. Um, to people outside Germany, this sounds like German, but it's not at all. Um, it's the local tongue from Cologne, um, uh, which is Kölsch. It sounds exactly like the beer. Um, and uh, the more beer you have, the better your Kölsch gets. At least that's my personal experience. Um, yeah, so uh, welcome to Cologne. Um, this is my hometown. I was born here 28 years ago in the north. Um, I haven't moved that much, to be honest. I still live a five-minute walk from the hospital where I was born. Um, and my main idea for this talk is to give you an idea why people in Cologne don't want to move anywhere else. Um, Cologne is a rather old city, was established by the Romans as uh, Claudia, Claudia, Colonia Claudia Ara Agrippinensum, that's the full name, CCAA. Um, and then over the years they just made Köln, because that sounds better. Um, the most important rule, uh, we have two important rules in, in Cologne. One is uh, people from Cologne don't go to Düsseldorf. That's uh, a city in the north. Um, I think we have at least two guys from Düsseldorf. Um, you, you, you can ask for asylum after the session, um, but Cologne people don't go there um, because reasons. Um, and it's kind of the same with uh, the both sides of the Rhine River that we have. Um, you're on the left side, that's the good side, the, the Luke Skywalker side, um, and the right side, that's the dark side, don't go there. Um, funnily, the right side um, has a, um, a city quarter called Deutz. Um, this is not where Robert is coming from, um, but it's funny that his name is on the dark side too. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if this really is a coincidence. Um, Cologne has a really long tradition when it comes to being involved with Joomla. Um, it's kind of a love story. Um, the very first Joomla event at all uh, took place, yeah, very close to Cologne. Uh, it, it was in Bonn, um, but uh, for, for people from Cologne, Bonn is like the parking place in front of your house, so that counts. Um, 30 kilometers uh, back then in 2005, this is where all the fun started. Um, it was organized by, by Robert back then, um, and uh, a few faces that I see in this room have been at this event and, uh, yeah, haven't left since then. Um, and also what only very few people know, I think, is that also the first Gen Beyond was originally planned to take place in Cologne too. Um, back then it was, yeah, Robert made a proposal about uh, let's have an international Joomla conference and the board back then just said no. no that, that won't work. People don't travel across the Atlantic to attend the Joomla event, um, just no. And then that's, that's how the name Giant Beyond originally came off. Robert just said, I'll do it anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, now we're here. Cologne also has a, in history when it comes to user group. Um, the user group is here since 2006. Um, and uh, in June, we'll have our 128th meeting. That's not too bad. Um, but I think what's, what's most important when it comes to Cologne and Joomla is that we kind of have the same mindset. We, we have the same culture, we, we share the same thoughts. Um, and Cologne thoughts are written down in something that we call Kölsches Grundgesetz, which is the, the, the unofficial constitution of Köln. Um, a number of, of really important sentences um, are in there. It's 11, because 11 is the number in Cologne. Um, the, and I, I want to explain them a bit to you so you get an idea. Um, the first one is, it is wie it is. Um, the literal translation is underneath. Um, and uh, there also is a, a meaning behind this. In this case, it is wie it is. It's, it's like, look at the facts, you know. Um, work with the stuff that you have. Um, don't, 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 don't dangle around, just use it. The second one, it could be it could. Don't be scared by the future. Stuff happens, don't worry about it. Et hätte noch immer Jotje Jange, um, also the title for my keynote. Um, yeah, that's, that's where, where Cologne's optimistic view is kind of coming from. Um, it, it's always 
works out somehow. Don't worry too much. But for this is fought. If something's gone, it's gone. Don't, don't whine about things that are already in the past. Live in the here and now. Nix blief wird war. Things change constantly. Um, so you have to be open-minded. You have to accept that new things are coming. That's one of my favorite. Um, can man it, bruch man it, fort damit. I love code. Um, don't do change for the sake of change. Be critic about new things. Um, but nix believe wie war. Um, they, they kind of clash, but it, it works out. But willst du machen? That's the one when something goes wrong, when, when people ask you to fix something and you can't. What, will, what willst du machen? You have to cope with your fate. That's how it is. I think that one works quite well in the Joomla community. Mache Jod, er war nicht so oft. Um, you, you can use it with whatever activity you want to put in there. Um, I think it's primarily used when it comes to Kölsch, um, but string replace it with, with whatever you want. What soll der Quatsch? What's up with that? Um, that's just a universal question. You can input it, put it in whenever you want. This one is the hospitality question. Drinks the Inemit. Um, we have an own song about Drinks the Inemit. Um, yeah, it's, it's part of Cologne's culture that we are open minded. Whenever you walk, when, when you're in Cologne, all alone, walking through the streets, you walk into a bar, you'll never sit alone. Just go to people, get a coach, and they'll most likely just offer you one. You'll never alone in Cologne. And the lost the dish kaput. The, the, the people in this room that actually know Kölsch know that I'll do this awfully. Um, don't take yourself too serious. Have a good laugh whenever you can because it's healthy and it makes life easier. And if you look at this, those 11 rules, I think they boil down to this. It's mainly it is don't worry. Don't take stuff too serious. Don't think too much. It makes your life a lot easier. Have a couple of coach, drinks the intimate, and it's, it's going to work out. Um, I think that makes life a lot easier, that kind of culture. Um, but it also has its downsides. And uh, you stumble upon those downsides in Cologne all the time. But my favorite example, that's one that I would like to show you. Um, We have two rescue helicopters in Cologne. Um, they are right now both stationed at Cologne Airport, which is about yeah, maybe 25 kilometers from the city center. And so they were thinking about, well, that's 25 kilometers. Uh, that's going to take a while until they're at the place where they're supposed to be. Let's find a place for the rescue helicopter that is more, more downtown, more central. Um, they found a spot uh, on the dark side of Cologne in Deutz. Um, in the middle of nowhere, uh, there's only this, this train stuff around and some industry, but no, nobody would care. Um, and there's this hill. Uh, that hill is called uh, Kalkberg, because that's one reason it is in, in, uh, in, uh, in, this, in the city area that's called Kalk, but also um, because uh, there's a, the, the, the hill itself, that's not a natural one, it was put up as a waste deposit by a chemical factory. Um, and they produced kalk, so this is also where this is coming from. Um, yeah, and I thought, well, that's, that's a great place. Let's put a building on a, on a waste deposit. What could possibly go wrong? Um, and uh, they started drilling in there uh, just to make sure that it's actually stable enough. And uh, they had a company doing that. Um, the, the budget was rather limited, so they said to the company, you're allowed to drill eight meters down there, make your tests, and then you'll have to give us a result. And they drilled down eight meters and said, okay, until that point, it's fairly okay, but we're absolutely not sure if this is going to work. And the city said, yeah, it's going to work out. 
let's do it. What could possibly go wrong? Um, so they started building that stuff on top. Um, and they, uh, next to the building, you also see this little hill. Um, they uh, added another hill on the hill uh, to have some sort of panorama point for the people to look over the train station. Um, and they, they haven't even been finished yet, but that thing started to sink into the mountain, slowly but surely. Um, right now, I think it's 20 centimeters, so about that. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that wasn't too good. Uh, while investigating that issue with the sinking building, they also realized that the road that they built in order to get up there, that this road penetrated the waste deposit with all the chemical waste. Um, and uh, it was a rather hot summer. Uh, they were a bit scared that, because it was all dried up, that now a, a wind might blow all the chemical waste across the city and told people to not open their windows. Um, wasn't that good of an idea. It's still not completed. And right now it looks like it's never going to be completed at all. They just leave it as it is. They are trying really hard to stabilize that damn mountain. Um, they removed the additional hill. Um, they rebuilt all the roads. Um, and they have a couple of companies helping them with that. And all the companies are saying, we, we, we can tell you how much this is going to cost. Um, because you idiots, you build up something on a chemical waste deposit. That was just a stupid idea. Um, and I, I think in most other countries, in most other cities, people would freak out about this. 100 million euros on a chemical waste plant. And in Cologne, we just, yeah, it is wie it is. Et hätte noch immer Jotje Jange? And what willst du machen? We have a gazillion of these examples. We have the Kalkberg, we have the, the Opera in Cologne right now um, that has been delayed for three years now. Um, we are famous for our subway construction, uh, construction um, uh, capabilities. Um, tons of stuff. And nobody's freaking out. Instead, we're celebrating Carnival because that's just much more fun. Um, you get a lot more coach. And yeah, being in Cologne is just having this relaxed lifestyle. That's what it's all about. And what also kind of is crazy, we, we all have these this, this fucked up things, all the broken buildings. <laughs> and normally people would say, yeah, I, I love my city even though in Cologne is, I love it because it is the way it is. All those imperfections are part of Cologne. It makes it unique and it's part of what people love about it. That's, that's uh, love your city in Cologne. That's a famous, uh, on, a, on a pretty big building right downtown. And um, we are so crazy about our city. Um, we even have an, an own music industry around it. Um, a couple of million songs sold each and every year. Cologne only has one million inhabitants, so that, that's quite a number. And I have some, some examples just to give you an idea. Isn't that great? <laughs> and while doing the research for this keynote, I realized that with Joomla, it's exactly the same. 
We also have a music industry. That guy slipped in. I would say I, I, we are on the same level. In Germany, we have a thing called CMS Garden, um, uh, the association where people from different CMS meet and during one of the last events and after a couple of beers, uh, we, we kind of exchanged CMS songs and the WordPress one really drove us crazy. Um, we have the same music industry. Uh, we also don't take us too serious, <laughs> I would say. Um, Joomla also has a specific history of building stupid things uh, without thinking it through. User notes is my favorite example, but there are a gazillion of them. And um, we also have this relaxing but kind of dangerous, yeah, it had noch immer Joti Jange. It always worked out mindset. And then you will end up with this. And I think we also share the, the, the same open-minded mindset. It's about community. It's exactly the same in Cologne. It's about the people. And what's most important, we don't love Joomla even though it is the way it is, but because it's the way it is. And that makes, in my opinion, Joomla and, and Cologne, they're the match, the perfect match. In both cases, it's not about, about being, being perfect. It's more about having that unique feeling, being part of something great and, and feeling home in a bit. And um, during the last yeah, one and a half years, from time to time, uh, I, I visited different cities with my girlfriend. We did a couple of city tours. And, uh, she quite frequently asked, okay, but this, this is also a nice city. Shouldn't, shouldn't we move somewhere else? Because it's, it's more clean, they have better bikeways. And yes, there are cities that offer a lot of great things. But at the end of the day, life is too short to, to not do the things where your heart is. You should do the things that you love and that are the most fun for you. And that's pretty much what Cologne is about. Thank you. So, some organizational stuff before you are free to have another coffee. Um, Wi-Fi. That's this one. Uh, it's.